did some schoolwork and had lunch and I'm headed really quick. We're gonna run into the junkie thrift store and uh, swing by the habitat. So let's see what we find. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm bringing you a thrift haul today. Uh, it is a like a neutral colored uh, thrift haul and I'm making plans in my mind for after the holidays when things kind of settle down and the boys are at home busy with school and anyhow I'm making plans to make some changes anyhow I ended up with a thrift haul today I ran to the junkie thrift store and almost right upon arriving when I got in there, I had to grab a cart. I, you guys, 
it was such a fast shopping trip and I came out with a box of stuff and I'm wanting to update my cottage kitchen somewhat and make some changes in there and I feel like some of the stuff I got is going to help complement that and the prices were so great and everything that I got, I think actually one item was 50 or 75% off. The rest was 30% off. Yeah. So I got a cozy, neutral thrift haul for you guys today. Okay. You guys look at this mixing bowl with the handle. Oh my goodness. This is heavy. Okay. And doesn't this have a colonial look? but yet it could be cottage, okay? And it's so neutral. There's the ugly price tag, let's see, $4.99, and this was 30% off. I mean, that price, you guys. Look at this. So neat, okay? So in my kitchen, I'm gonna insert, you'll see my stained shelves, with a lot of like white and cream dishes on there. On the other side of my kitchen is cabinets with a very eyesore microwave that I'm gonna insert and you guys are gonna see, okay? I'm wanting to, Lord willing, after Christmas, take down those cabinets, the microwave, and add more open shelving, okay? And yeah, so I'm gonna need some more cream and white stuff. You guys, look at this. And what is so neat about going with this color palette is in the spring, if I want, I can add pops of color. In at Christmas, I can add pops of color or even a pop of a different style or era. If I wanted to add a heavier, uh, let's say Victorian, something like an item or add a more farmhouse look with this color palette it leaves it so open but you guys anyways enough about this mixing bowl beautiful okay so as i walked or i had found the mixing bowl with the handle i found this one oh my goodness he is $3.99, 30% off, and he's not real huge, okay? And a side note, I use my mixing bowls that are up, up on my open shelving. Even though they're pretty and they're decorative, I use them, okay? So these will be really, they'll be used. Again, nice, solid mixing bowl, okay? And to add to that, look at that. Oh my goodness. There we go. So I could be mixing maybe some eggs in this one and dry goods in this one. Anyhow, he what he was $1.99, 30% off. Okay. So adding to that neutral cottage farmhouse look look at that beautiful so i have an instant collection with these three mixing bowls okay these are so heavy and you know what let me take the tape off these were 3.99 by the way 3.99 i don't i don't know if these are truly old and or if maybe they were newer and they have just rusted. But there is a whole, the whole set of these measuring cups. Okay, and it's a full set of measuring cups. So we've got the fourth a cup and so on. And you guys, these are heavy too. So if I didn't end up using these, these could maybe be hung somewhere in my 
my newly updated kitchen, okay? I have this. And you guys, isn't this crazy? This all came from the same thrift store on the same day and so neutrals. Okay, this could be filled with uh, oatmeal, sugar, um, um, candy, flour, tea bags, okay? And it's got a little bit, see that design? And this is pretty good size. Like, see the length of that? And it's got the neutral colored uh, wooden lid, okay? This was $4.99, 30% off. And look at the condition it's in. Again, neutrals and creams. Let's talk about baskets. Um, this one, I don't know how much he was. He does, oh, I think he was maybe $1.99, 30% off. Uh, nice solid tray, okay? And layering, this is great for layering. He's not real big, not real thick. If, you, if I needed just to slide him in somewhere, like up on a shelving with like some cream by him, okay? Or even behind, maybe more like that, okay? Or he could be even set down and displayed with stuff on him. And he is solid. Uptown, no telling what this would cost. And it was $1.99, 30% off. And again, this could be cottage, farmhouse, uh, yeah, several different looks. And it's very neutral, yeah. And you'll think you have like a lot of like, oh, I have a lot of baskets or I have a lot of this. And then it's like you realize if you go to do a different look, oh, I don't have a lot of that. So I feel like I needed a few more baskets. Look, this basket is Beautiful, so unique. I don't even know if someone knows what this would have maybe been used for or what it is designed for, the shape of it. It is beautiful. It has a uh, old world look, like really, like long ago look. The little petite pattern and the color of them is beautiful, $1.99. Okay, 30% off. Look at that. Oh my word. It's beautiful from the side, even from the back. And he's not too big. So I could literally just like stack him in, like stacking up baskets, put fruit in him. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful color. Look at that. Almost a two-tone look of that basket. I know I keep talking about my hallway and bathroom, but Lord willing, soon I'm going to be getting to that. And look at this waste basket, okay? I mean, look at this. Nice size. It's not too big, okay? And I want to say maybe this was $1.99, 30% off. I'm not sure. I'm not seeing a tag. But anyhow, nice waste basket. Um... If I decide not to use it as a waste basket, I could use it, um, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if rolling, I don't think rolling pins, that'd be too tall to fit into this, but um, maybe set down with uh, maybe fresh flowers coming out in the spring, or I could do pine in the winter. Yeah, this is a nice basket and it's gonna add to my collection. Look at all these baskets. Just one day of thrifting. For more upcoming projects, he was $2.99. Again, thinking for my entryway hallway. Okay, look at this hat. That not say spring and summer. Look at that. Literally says spring and summer with this hat right here. Imagine that hanging on a hook when you first walk into my house. Okay. I mean, and this is like literally, literally almost in brand new condition. Okay. For the entryway. And then look at this more of a, I don't know, this could be like cottagey or, uh, I don't know. It's got like a leather, like a leather strap to it. 
and it pulls down, okay? And it would display, it would look kind of like that. So there we go. Two summery looking hats. Yes, look at that. And $2.99, 30% off on this hat. So yeah, overall I got a rather nice size thrift haul. And yeah, that was literally just running. The kids had did some schoolwork and we loaded up and went and got this haul at just my local thrift store. So, and I think my total was, I might have to look on the video. I wanna say it was around 30 or 35, I'm not sure. But the boys did get a little couple uh, items that they wanted and that was included in that total. Anyhow, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Like I said, I'm hoping to get to, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do my kitchen first after the holidays or get into my hallway, okay? So I have one sister telling me hallway bathroom and then the other one's agreeing that I should start in the kitchen because that's the heart of the home and I'm not happy with it. And the changes that I'm going to make to it aren't gonna be like major. I'm not doing appliances, I'm not doing countertops, I'm not doing the sink. So, but I'm hoping that the changes I'm going to bring to it is gonna make a big impact. So thank you for being here for this thrift haul. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button and you can stay tuned for more upcoming videos. And thank you for being here as I create Cottage Diaries.